Hi, bonjour, ciao, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tolu and I am going into my second year of studying medicine at the University of Oxford. And it's kind of just really weird to say, but I'm going into my second year. Oh my gosh, I'm getting old. I'm actually getting old. Anyway, I wanted to make this video because results day is around the corner for A-level students and I wanted to basically just wish all of you guys the best um, because I was in your position like literally just last year and I understand how like nervous and worried a lot of you are but hopefully you see the results that you want to see and I'm wishing honestly all of you guys the best. Um, and I can't wait to hopefully see some of you um, walking around the streets of Oxford with me um, in October potentially and I just honestly really hope that people see the results that they want to see and if you have any questions or any bits of like further advice please honestly feel free to like ask your questions in the comments below or DM me on my socials because I'll be more than happy to sort of find a way to give you an answer in one way or another. Um, and in the meantime, I thought I'd create a video to give you some tips on the things that I wish I had known before starting university because I've been thrown straight into the deep end, straight into the deep end. I finished like a whole year of university. I understand like, or I say I understand, but like I kind of know how things kind of operate and work now at university. So I'm hoping to basically embark some of my knowledge to you guys so hopefully you don't make the same mistakes I did and you can have like a better experience in a way. I mean my experience at Oxford so far has been amazing but I feel like if I had known some of these things before I started then I would have been able to like go further into the deep end. That's such a weird analogy. Why did I say that? But just to basically give you a bit more advice on university. So this is what I wish I had known before starting university. So the first thing that I wanted to like just get out the way is that one, there is no rush to make new friends whatsoever. Going to university is definitely a really weird and daunting, daunting experience to begin with because you're coming across new people that you may not have known before, you've left your school or college to go to like a completely new environment and you kind of want to find the best way to fit in as quickly as possible and a lot of people tend to like rush um finding friends and they feel like oh I have to find like my closest friends during freshers week or else I'll be stuck for the rest of the year and that is honestly not the case whatsoever. You'll end up coming across so many new different people across the years throughout university that you may not have necessarily met during freshers week um, and that's completely and totally fine like a lot of my friends I don't actually get as close with or speak to as much until second term um, because we just didn't have the same classes together we didn't really hang out as much together initially in first term and but then like something happened like in electric theatre for example or like at a random motive and we started speaking more and then we became the best of friends there is just there's just honestly no rush to make new friends um and you can definitely easily meet people later on in the years like for me my degree is six years long i have plenty of time to be introduced to new people and again i don't know how many times i need to say this but again there is honestly no rush to make new friends and you'll eventually find like your people or your person to help make university life that much more fun um just go with emotions and see how it goes and there's honestly no rush or expectations to have to meet new people in freshers week take the time that you need and that's what matters most the next thing that i want to say is please 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 do not take too many cloves. I learned this the hard way because at Oxford you have to, we don't have to, but people usually move out every term and packing a lot of cloves is just really, really inconvenient. It's just inconvenient because I have to carry all of those cloves to my room and up like three flights of stairs. Like it's just long. And plus if you bring too many cloves, you're not going to have all of the like club nights and events to allow you to wear all of them so like don't pack too many clothes because you won't end up wearing half of them in all honesty my go-to outfit um in first year were just a pair of actually no i don't have an, i don't have a go-to outfit you'd usually catch me wearing jeans and jumper or like a white or black um shirt and then some colorful trousers like it's not really much and even when you have like events and club nights again jeans and a shirt that's what people most people wear anyway so there's really no like need to pack an insane amount of clothes because you honestly won't 
find time to wear like every single item maybe unpack um, things that you can mix and match so you can like bring less stuff but still be able to like create multiple outfits out of them so like a few colored shirts and like blouses and then a few jeans and trousers so you can like mix and match stuff because yeah don't pack too much just don't because it's just not worth it you don't need to <laughs> um this is gonna sound like a really <sighs> this next one is kind of very particular and i guess it applies to mainly me and maybe a few others but I'm the kind of person who doesn't really like to carry cash and coins. I prefer to do everything by card. Yes, I get it. Haha, ha. I'm Generation Z. Lol, I love the internet, blah, blah, blah. But um, please take coins or find a way to access coins. Because washing machines at university require coins. Most of them do. And it got to the point where I had to like go and trek to a cash machine, get a note out, go to a shop or go to like um, the reception and get some change and then go do my washing and it just took forever. Or I'd have to message my friends being like, hi, do you guys have any coins? I'll like transfer you money. And it just takes forever. So my tip is to just bring coins with you as, as like if possible or just like find a way to access coins for your washing machines. Because it's inconvenient, but that's how the washing machines work. So yeah. The next um, bit of advice that I would say is if your parents or if you're able to or if like your family are able to get your parents to chip in on grocery shopping money um, because it will go a long long way um, and you can use the spare money for like of alternative means so like for buying books or stationery or stuff but yeah if possible get your parents to contribute to maybe some of your grocery shopping just so it's not too much of a burden on you when it comes to buying groceries because yeah it just saves money and it just it's a lot easier in the long run i guess but yeah i don't know if that's actually very helpful but that's what i know a lot of my friends did that were really helpful but if it's not possible then don't fret you can still manage to find like alternative means to still get like grocery food and all that stuff but if your parents can um see if they can chip into any of your grocery shopping just to make it a bit easier for you Another tip that I would say that I wish I had taken on board in my first year is to take part in as many societies as possible. And this kind of links in with the first tip I said, which is to not rush when making new friends. But I feel like societies and clubs are kind of like the best environments to meet new people because they will probably share a similar interest to you if it's like according to the society and stuff. So for example, you take up sports, let's say you do football or rowing, for example, you'll be across or you'll be alongside others who are also interested in those same things. And that's kind of, it creates like a really nice start for friendships and you just get to meet new people, experience really nice, great things. And I feel like joining societies and clubs is a really nice thing to get you started and settled into university. And it just helps you be a part of like the lifestyle and the experience. A lot of my first year was dedicated to spending a lot of time with the African and Caribbean Society, so the ACS, because I felt like I wanted to be surrounded by people like me and I had an amazing time and I'm, and I'm even now um, the PR officer for the ACS. So just being involved with societies just gets you like doing a lot of things, gaining some responsibilities that you could even like easily throw into a CV for example. Um, but it also is just a nice way to sort of be um, a part of the university and just be more involved with the things that go on in that place too um so yeah societies and clubs it doesn't have to be sports it could be literally to do with anything that you're interested in um, many universities have an abundance of societies that you can join like i think even in oxford there's a there's a quidditch society so there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot um and you'll probably find something that suits your interest um so i really do recommend finding a society that works for you this next tip is one that took me a really long time to come to grips with and it's that it's okay to struggle when I was doing my A-levels, I was the kind of person who like, who understood certain topics really quickly and didn't necessarily find it hard to like retain information or like do things. But then coming to university, it was a complete, complete 360 change. Um, I, I found myself struggling a bit more, needing a bit more help when it came to certain work, um, asking questions a lot more because things just didn't click with me as quickly as they did during A-levels. And it took me a really, really long time to realise that that's actually okay and it's completely fine to struggle. I think because of that initial, like, the time it took me to realise, it took me so long to seek the help that I needed to seek. Um, so I really just wanted to let you know that it's honestly okay to struggle and it's okay to reach out for help because there's no point you suffering in silence because it just won't help you and it won't help the people who were able to help you to help you, if that makes sense. 
so please don't be too like disheartened if you're not able to understand concepts as quickly as you're used to at a level it's all a matter of readjusting to the way university works and how to sort of alter the way you handle work appropriately and so on because the way you maybe did work at a levels may or um ib or something may not apply to how you'll do it at university so for example the way i made notes at a level i no longer make notes like that anymore because it was way too time consuming and took just it just didn't help me learn so now i've had to adapt how i do things at a level to make it applicable to university and that's just all we need to do and it takes time there's honestly no rush whatsoever but hopefully when you realise that things aren't going to be the same, then you'll like know the steps and you'll know the process to take if you need further help. Because there are so many people available at university who will give you help, whether it be your peers, people in your above, your tutors and so on. Like just be receptive to help and don't be too afraid if you're finding that you're struggling with certain things because everyone struggles and it's not a bad thing to struggle whatsoever. It's like even a strength being able to understand that you're struggling with something and knowing that you need to seek help like that in itself is an amazing achievement um and i'm glad that i'm aware of it now but i just wanted to let you know that it's okay to struggle because i wish i had known sooner and the final thing that i like wish i had taken like a bit more seriously or come to grips with a bit more is the fact that university is a fresh start you're coming to a new place you're meeting new people you're taking part in like a new course for example um the person you were at school, at college, at sixth form, doesn't necessarily have to be the person you are at university. Um, at school, I was known for being like the teacher's pet and being really like um, always academically focused and all that stuff. And to an extent, it was okay, but I just personally hated that association, and it always like irked me and still to this day like really irritates me when that's all people know me for so I felt like university for me was a fresh start to really find who I was as a person because there's so much more to me and to life than my grades and my academics like I've done a lot of stuff behind the scenes I'm a creative person I like doing my makeup I like watching stuff and like I'm more than just my grades and I felt like people in my old school that's all they knew me for and I felt like that's not who I am so university for me was a chance for me to sort of find out who I really was and to develop myself as a person and I really just honestly love that because the person I am now I love and I am so happy because I've kind of like found almost in a way my waking is that the, is that a thing I've just like found what makes me happy and how um to tailor life in a way that keeps me happy and so on um and that's amazing for me so just to know that university is a fresh start you have the opportunity to discover new things learn more about yourself especially since being at university is such a new independent way of life you get to do things that you never did maybe at back home with your parents living with you you're doing things independently and by yourself so you get to learn a bit more about the way you work and the way you handle things um, and i definitely have learned a lot about myself myself even within the first year of uni so university is honestly the best opportunity to sort of discover yourself and find yourself and to experience a fresh start um and yeah first year was great all the things that i did i really just loved the experience and those are like the main tips that i'd suggest for now on what i wish i knew before university because it just honestly helps you ease into the university experience a lot better and yeah i wish you all the best for results day please just hit me up message me ask me questions please feel free and hopefully you'll be able to get to the place that you want to go to and i also just wanted to point out that maybe if results so doesn't go your way that rejection is redirection and that's such an important phrase because sometimes there are alternatives in life that may be actually better suited to you and your lifestyle or like your personality and so on but i really do have my fingers crossed my toes crossed my feet crossed like everything crossed for you guys in terms of your results um and i'm wishing you all the best i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>